Uh, so how's it feel to be back out here? It's awesome. You know, we got a great bunch of guys. We have, uh, you know, some some veteran players that are returning. So you, you're hitting the ground running a lot faster. And uh, but at the same time, you got to strip it back down and get to the basics. So it's fun to teach the fundamentals of the game. And you know, we just have helmets on right now, so it'll be a lot better tomorrow when we get the pads on a little bit more, at least uppers, and, and go against the defense and some team settings. Uh, with all that experience back, you feel like you guys are quite a bit farther along than you have been in previous years. Sure, I, I think that. I mean, my first year here, we were pretty far along as well, and then and then we were inexperienced there, and, and then you know back to where we have experienced players. So we feel that uh, it's it's not like it's uh, you know something new. I think in '13, it was a lot like that as far as having guys know the system and, and hitting the ground running a little bit faster. And what do you think the biggest strengths of the offense right now are? Well, obviously our receiving core is good. Our quarterback's very experienced, and I, I really think that our depth on the offensive line's gotten better. Um, we have some some tailbacks with experience, and at the same time, we have some good young tailbacks coming in that we feel good about right now. Although we've only practiced in uh, helmets, so time will tell on that. But uh, our cowboy back position is is deep. We have good depth there, um, so. It seems, you know, for now, we're very satisfied with being a well-rounded offense and uh, not just one area of strength. Uh, with Mason Beck now as an upperclassman, what's different about him, about how he's entered this campus the previous ones? I wouldn't say anything's different. Mason's always had a professional attitude, and he's, he's always treated himself like a pro and, and is prepared like a pro, and, and he comes in and he wants to get better. That's really never changed. You know, over time, when you put all the work in, you get more experienced. Uh, you get smarter, you understand the game better, you ask more in-depth questions, and, and uh, you bring more information to the table. From from my standpoint, he gives me great feedback, us coaches. So uh, he's also able to coach up some of the receivers out there. He knows the concepts. He knows what we're looking for. So he, he's another coach on the field, and he's molded back into that role. So that's just developed. Nothing really different, just has, has been... Uh, with experience has gotten better. And then last one, just kind of break down those guys behind him, Cornelius and Woodty and those guys. Well, uh, Taylor Cornelius is a guy that has really good arm strength. His feet in the pocket are very good. He's a pocket passer guy. He understands the system very well. Uh, he's getting better. Um, you know, he needs more game experience to really find out what he, you know, how good he can be. Um, but he does really well in our drills and, and what we set up in seven on seven and team. Uh, John Kolar, um, again, he'll he'll come along very well. He's ha he had a good spring last spring. It was a really good spring for John, and it looks like that he's continuing on that uh, progression. He showed good signs so far in limited practice time so far, only through two and and his limited reps. Um, hard to see those younger guys and evaluate them and give you a total breakdown with just the minimal reps that, that we can give them. And, and John has some athleticism at, as well, so he can escape and we can call some uh, you know quarterback runs with him if he's in the game. And then Keandre Woodty still, you know, I'm going to hold on him because, uh, you know, just time's going to tell on him. Obviously, he's got great athleticism. He's got great arm strength. Uh, he's a smart kid, but it's going to take, he's going to have, you know, he has less experience in the system, so it's going to take a few more practices to get him moving to where we can evaluate him a little bit better.